Greetings, and thank you for listening to the presentation entitled Building a Learning Culture in the Classroom. What can we do? In the last video, we discussed the difference between students' learning orientation and grade orientation, and the great benefits and outcomes that are associated with possessing a learning orientation. In this discussion, we will address how teachers, instructors, and trainers can use specific behaviors to promote a culture of learning in their academic environment. Though the learning environment is co-created by both teachers and students, teachers have a greater influence on promoting a learning culture and there are certain things that teachers can do. Today we are going to outline five recommended behaviors. The first recommended behavior for teachers to promote a learning culture is to establish and communicate high expectations. This is important to do early in the semester so that students know what is expected of them. Students typically rise to the expectations that a teacher creates. <clears throat> Research finds that when teachers communicate high expectations, they give students more approval more time to answer questions, and more feedback. <clears throat> feedback is actually the second recommended behavior. Teachers should provide timely, fair, and copious amounts of feedback. When students receive feedback, they are able to make adjustments in their learning and determine if they are on the right track. It is important for teachers to frame their feedback carefully as some learners are sensitive to negative feedback. The third recommended behavior is to encourage focused student-to-student -student communication, as students can obviously learn from each other. Research reveals that students communicate that they find their peers to be valuable and significant individuals through three distinct types of interactions. And these messages are acknowledgement, assistance, and individual attention. <clears throat> Instructors set the standard and the tone for student interactions in their classrooms, and this can encourage a culture of learning from others. The fourth recommended behavior includes giving students autonomy and voice. When instructors give autonomy to students, they allow them some freedom in completing course requirements. Research reveals that autonomy-supported instruction is positively associated with intrinsic motivation and recall of concepts. <clears throat> the final recommended behavior is to sustain the learning culture. Teachers can do this by asking the right questions, encouraging curiosity in their students, and inviting students to solve problems. Once a learning culture is established, teachers must work to sustain it. So, to recap, when teachers establish and communicate high expectations, provide feedback, encourage communication, give students autonomy and voice, and work to sustain the culture, great strides to building an atmosphere of learning will occur and positive learning outcomes will be accomplished.